Hello everyone. Today I want to delve into a topic which resonates with every one of us. The profound influence of our habits on our achievements. As we navigate through our daily lives, it's essential to recognize the pivotal role of our habits playing shaping our successes. Equally important is understanding their impact on our overall well-being. So, from scientific point of view, the habits is that actions which are embedded on our subconscious mind, meaning that they prompt us to perform tasks without conscious awareness. So, all of us have some kind of habits we've never given a serious thought to. The reason is that I think is that we think is that a natural course of action or is they are really trivial to think about. But if we think deeply, we understand that our positive habits can pave the way to the prosperous life while bad ones can ruin people's lives. So we might end up being the worst scenarios, the worst version of ourselves if we follow our bad habits. So. Here is the problem here. So the thing is that bad habits are very easy to develop and very hard to give up. So the reason is for this, uh, the creation of a comfort zone. I mean, bad habits uh, gives us temporary solution, but in reality, they have nothing to do with uh, solving the problems. With this temporary solution, we are get used to them. While it, give, it requires us great effort and it really tests our stamina if we want to give them up. And the same, the same situation comes with the positive habits. If we want to develop it, it again tests our determination and stamina. Imagine if you want to wake up at the 4 a.m. while you are getting used to waking up at 9 a.m. every day. So it puts your both emotional and physical strain on your mind. But once you achieve your point, once you make it your habit, you don't have to exert yourself to do it after a while. So here it comes another thing why we need our habit to consider. As you always hear, hear that consistency is a key to success. So Whatever you do repeatedly, it becomes consistency. The habit is what gives you that consistency. As a, I will quote again that once you make it, a, make it a point to do it a habit, what you want to achieve, you don't have to spend a lot of energy for a preparation issues like, you know, you have to prepare your mind to do something. Imagine to for workout. Yep. So you have to do it automatically and that's a, what habit gives you. So here I want to give some quotes, famous quotes, which I like and I try to follow throughout my life. One of them is a, comes from the great philosopher Aristotle who says, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. And the next famous quote comes from Jim Rohn, where he says, motivation is what gets you started, but it's a habit keeps you going. So here, uh, I want to share my own experience related to this topic. Reminiscing my old school years, and especially seventh grade, I remember myself very skinny and the least physically inclined student in my class. And for this reason, it's hard for me, it was hard for me, for me to participate in even in outdoor activities. And once I tried to, I tried to change this situation and I decided to put my mind on it. And one old man gave me very good and wise advice. And he said, if you want to achieve this physical strength, you have to do you have to do it every time when you have free time, every time you have the chance to do it. And then I simply and straightforwardly did what he said to me. 
Whenever I had a time, I do some working out. I hit the gym when I had a time and I had, I had and I didn't have the conditions. I did some press ups, push ups and other kind of strenuous exercises. And when I started seeing that transformation on my body, it gives me more and more motivation. That's what habit gave me. And after two years, that hard work for, for me gave the results and results speak for themselves. After two years, I became a CrossFit champion in my school at, at that year and got second, play, uh, second place in arm wrestling tournament. I'm sorry. So after that, I decided that I use, I apply this, this, the similar scheme for achieving four of my other goals, like learning new language or no, learning something new. The first thing I did always and do right right away is that setting realistic goals. And I try to, to do all efforts to develop a habit for, for my own goals at a time. And I always enjoy my small wins, meaning that uh, every day I enjoy small um, small progress on my achievements. And that gives me power to continue and do, being consistent, repeatedly do things, whatever it comes, whatever it requires. And once I realized that people can achieve their goals through that habits and they make goal achievement into their habits, imagine that goal achievement becomes your um, habit. And every time you want to achieve some goal, you only focus on the final outcome. And um, nothing can hinder you reaching this goal. Can you imagine that? And it's possible. It's really possible. And then uh, as a teacher, as an educator, I always try to watch my students' behavior, watch my students' habits are. And I notice it that uh, the, the, my students who has a great academic success, especially have a good grasp of English, they have kind of habits to uh, facilitating them to reach that uh, achievements. For example, they're always carrying their notes pad with them. And every time they have a time, they just look through their notepads and revise their vocabulary. They revise their vocabulary on the go, on their home, on the way they are their home, uh, during the break time at school, and the kind of things. And I did some surveys and asked them some questions to determine that, some insights about that. And they always ask it, uh, they will always answer the questions to the, uh, what do you do in your free time? Like, I can watch some YouTube videos in English, I can listen to the, some podcasts, or, any, uh, or other times I can read some book and practice my English. You see? and. Here is the huge difference between that students and who are that lagging behind and they are less uh, academically inclined pu pupils. You know, uh, other students always answering me that uh, whenever uh, it comes to the practicing reading, for example, I got bored and they say I got bored and I just stop practicing reading and just they take their mobile phone and scrolling down the social media or they can play them some online games. But in reality, what are they doing? Just avoiding the facing the problems. You know, they get a habit of choosing the easiest way. You know, that's why it's already, it has already become their habits, choosing the easiest way, not, but not solving the problems. So, at that moment, you have to break that habit. If you break that habit and try to face that problem and then deal with it, and eventually you will solve this problem. And reading will be not so bored as you used to, to think. Again, I have to do, uh, emphasize the problem with that uh, habit development, you know. As I mentioned previously, uh, bad habits are really easy to develop and really hard to give up. But again, again, it's your own choice. 
It's your own choice. So develop your bad habits and make your life worse. Be your the worst um, version of yourself. But if you don't, don't afraid of the difficulties, if you want your life being more meaningful and rewarding, just choose to develop good habits and don't give up. Never back down, no matter what it takes, no matter how, many, how much time it takes, no matter what it takes in general. So, it will be your own choice. And in conclusion, at the end of my speech, I, I want to say that you, if you want to thank yourself in the future, if you want to be proud of yourself in the future, please try to develop good habits. Try to give up your bad habits. Try to focus on your positive outcomes. Develop wh whatever it takes that uh, please focus on your habits and take your habits seriously. No matter what it takes, no matter how much time what it takes. And I wish you good luck on this year attainment. Thank you for your attention.